Okay, in physics we use angles to represent cycles, waves, and other oscillations. You've got zero degrees, and then you've got ninety degrees, which is pi over two radians, then one eighty degrees, which is pi radians, and then two seventy degrees, which is three pi over two radians, and three sixty, which is two pi radians. So three sixty represents a whole cycle, and then one eighty will represent half a cycle, and so on. Okay, we're going to convert one hundred and sixty degrees into radians. So one hundred and sixty is around here somewhere. The equation we're going to use is this. So what you do is you take the angle and you divide it by 360, okay, and then you multiply it by the equivalent of 316 radians, which is 2 pi. Okay, so that gives us 8 over 9 pi, which is 2.79 radians. Okay, I'm going to practice going the other way. So we're going to turn 5 radians into degrees. So we can use this formula here. Basically, what it says is take the radians and divide it by 2 pi, okay, and multiply it by the equivalent of 2 pi, which is 360 degrees. That gives us 286 degrees, which is roughly around here. Okay, here we've got particles in a wave oscillating up and down. And you can see another particle on this end here also oscillating up and down. But the difference is there are different stages of their cycle. So as one reaches a maximum, other reaches its minimum. So we, this is what we use. We use the term phase to describe what's going on. Because okay, so the thing of phases like different stages of a cycle. So like, for example, different phases of a generation or like the different phases of the moon's cycle. Um, and what's more important is phase difference, which is the fraction of a whole cycle. One point is ahead of another. And for example, you can think of this green and the person, the green swing is being almost quarter of a cycle ahead. So we would say that's pi over two radians ahead. So because um, phase difference is measured out of two pi. Okay, in this question, point Y is five seconds ahead of point X on its oscillation. The time period of oscillation is eight seconds. Calculate the phase difference in degrees and radians. Okay, so phase difference is the fraction of a cycle. One point is ahead of another measured out of two pi or 360. So in this case, a whole cycle is eight seconds. That's the time period. And we're five seconds ahead. So we're five eighths of a cycle ahead. So basically we're going to use this equation here. We're going to take the time difference, which is 5, divided by the time period of basically the whole cycle, which is 8 seconds, and then times it by 2 pi, so we can get it in radians, and we get 3.93 radians. We can also times it by 360 to get it in degrees if you wanted. Okay, now point Y is 2.8 seconds behind point Z. The wavelength is 4 meters. Calculate the phase difference in radians. Again, phase difference is a fraction of a cycle. One point is ahead or behind another. So in this case, a whole cycle is 4 meters, the wavelength, and we're 2.8 meters ahead of it. So I can use this equation here, the difference in distance divided by the wavelength, which represents the whole um, our cycle, times 2 pi. So in this case, 2.8 divided by 4 times it by 2 pi, and we have 4.4 radians. In this question, we have two identical waves, both the wavelength of 4 meters, leaving point A and point B in phase. When they meet in point X, the wave from A has traveled 12 meters and the wave from B has traveled 15 meters. State the path difference between the waves and calculate the phase difference between the waves. So firstly, path difference, like the name suggests, is the difference in the path. So one wave has traveled 3 meters uh, more than the other. So the wave from B has traveled 3 meters extra. So that's the path difference. And to calculate the phase difference, we know that the whole cycle is 4 meters, which is represented by the wavelength, which is 4 meters here. Okay, so we just use that same equation we did use before, where the delta x represents the path difference. Okay, so we're basically three quarter of a cycle ahead, times that by two pi, and we get the phase difference in radians. Okay, in this question, I have sound waves originating at point x, and they take two different paths and meet at point y. The wavelength of the sound wave is 0 0.40 meters, and the longer path, which is the one on the right, is 1.6 meters, and the shorter path, which is the one on the left, is 0 0.60 meters. Calculate the phase difference at point y. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to use this equation here. I'm going to figure out the path difference. So I'm going to do 1.6 minus 0 0.6. So one of the waves has traveled an extra uh, one meter. And I can see straight away that uh, as a multiple of the wavelength, 0 0.4 meters, it's around 2.5 times the wavelength. But let's go ahead and work out the phase difference. So if we do the difference in path difference, which is one divided by the wavelength, times that by 2 pi, we get a phase difference of 5 pi. But what does that mean? Okay, so if 2 pi represents a whole cycle, a phase difference of 5 pi would basically mean two and a half cycles. So that would be, so if you go around twice and then an extra half, you'd end up here. 
So you've got a 5 pi as a phase difference. As you can see, that's the same as pi. Okay, so what you can do is subtract as many or add on as many 360 degrees or 2 pi's without actually changing the phase difference. Okay, so I can simplify the answer to this question by subtracting 2 pi and I've got 3 pi now, but then I can try to subtract another 2 pi and you see I get a pi there. So a phase difference of 5 pi is the same as a phase difference of pi.